sometimes what's needed to face regret comes via messenger. Our scripture reading today comes to us from Genesis chapter 24, verses 62 through 67. Now Isaac had come from, or from coming to, Berlalhairoi, and was settled in the Negev. Isaac went out in the evening to walk, I'm not sure what the word walk means in here, in the field, and looking up, he saw camels coming. And Rebekah looked up, and when she saw Isaac, she slipped quickly from the camel, and said to the servant, Who is the man over there, walking in the field to meet us? The servant said, it is my master. So she took her veil and covered herself, and the servant told Isaac all the things that he had done. Then Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent. He took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. So Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Isaac might be suffering from regret. You see, just before this, he had been nearly offered to God as a sacrifice. And it's right after that, that Sarah dies. This is also the time when Abraham authorizes a servant to seek out a wife for Isaac. And in doing so, he played a little game to the God of Abraham as to, please tell me which one is the one, bless me in my search, that the one who says, let me water your camels as well, would be the one chosen and of Abraham's family's household, which Rebekah was. So we get further along in the scene here where Rebekah is being returned being brought to her prospective husband's household. And it's interesting where Isaac is. Isaac's at the place where Ishmael was called as a son of Abraham. And so, very tellingly, Isaac will also take up the mantle of descendants of Abraham. From this place, his family begins. And it's interesting the transition the servant makes. The servant makes the transition that says, Isaac's now his master when Abraham was the one who sent him. But Isaac still has Sarah's tent. How often do we cling to a loved one's place and possession and memory. You know, it, some looking on might find it strange that you are still keeping those things, that you are keeping those visible reminders of a life previously held and loved and honored and cherished. But it is to Sarah's tent that Rebecca ends up. Often in life, in our regrets, something new comes on the horizon. Literally, Isaac looking out across the field, perhaps still mourning his mother, his loss, dealing with feelings of regret. And he looks across and he sees something coming. In your regret, have you stepped out into the field to look across to see what is coming? Because while Rebecca will not replace Sarah in Isaac's life, Rebecca becomes a part of Isaac's life and takes role of wife. Oftentimes in our regret, we expect nothing to come that will be a blessing, that now 
all blessings have seeds. That now we just wait until we join the loved one who has passed. Our failure to fix a relationship. We fixate on the hopelessness of our situation. Again, regret offers opportunity if we don't let regret take hold. In our sorrows, we can look up and find God's provisions arriving. Even if we have to step out of the tent of the one we have lost. Life continues and can begin again, if only we bring it into our homes. Let us pray. Gracious one, we thank you for the comforts you bring in times of loss. Help us to be ready to accept what you bring to us, to help us in our sorrow and regret, the provisions you provide for us that help us move forward and start again. Amen. Blessings to you and yours this day and always. Goodbye.